Welcome to Golf Quest Hawaii. My name is Ed Tischler. At Golf Quest Hawaii, our number one priority is to help you expand the boundaries of your game. We also want to keep you up to date to what's happening in the Hawaii's golf industry. That is, what's new, what's improved, and who's out there that can help you become a better golfer. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy today's show. One of the things I want you to remember about New Horizons Golf is we always try to keep it simple. So what I want you to do when you're around the greens is I want you to think of it as tossing a ball. Imagine taking a ball in your hand, focusing on the hole, and tossing it there. Now all you have to do is toss it with the golf club. The way you're going to do that is to take hold of the club. Imagine like there's a ball already stuck to the club face. As you go back, it'll stay stuck on the club face. As you come through, it's stuck. As you follow through, you just toss it off the club face right to the hole. So here we go. I'm going to imagine like the ball is stuck on the club face. I'm going to toss it to the hole. And that's all there is to tossing around the greens. Here I am at the 18th hole at Koala Golf Course, one of the toughest holes in Hawaii. We're going to learn how to play this hole well today. We're going to find out, for most of you, this hole is going to play like a par 5 instead of a par 4 that it really is. You need to get that in your mind when you begin, that even if you make a 5, you've still made par. So as you start to tee off on this hole, realize your first shot's going to be about 210 yards over a ravine, a very challenging shot. You'll have your option on your second shot. You can either play it over another ravine, up towards the green, or lay it up to the right, or you can play it down the left-hand side and lay it up down the fairway. So here we go. Let's tee it up and see what happens. Here we are in the 18th fairway. My tee shot was about 250 yards, which is leaving me about a 200 yard shot to the green. If you haven't reached this point in the fairway, you might think about laying it up down the left hand side and playing your third shot into the green. As I said, I've got 200 yards left to the green here. I feel like I can make it. So here we go, let's give it a shot. Once you reach the green, take a look back at the 18th fairway. It'll give you a true indication of how difficult your approach shot really is. The green is guarded by a series of bunkers, one big one down the left-hand side and a series of small ones down the right-hand side. If you don't feel like you can carry it all the way to the green from the fairway, go ahead and lay up to the right-hand side, down the fairway, toss it onto the green, try to two-putt and get out of here. I've reached the 18th green now. My ball ended up pin high just off the green. Even though I played a pretty good shot, I'm presented with a very difficult short game shot now. I'm in a grass bunker. I've got to get it up in the air, land it soft. The green's going to be fast and running away from me. So this is still going to challenge me. I've got about 50 feet to the pin. Let's give it a try. As you can see, I just hold the shot. Putting's optional. That's it. That's how we play the 18th hole at Colwell Golf Course. Hitter, thrower, or swinger, which one are you? These three styles exist because we're all built quite differently. Some players are big and strong. They tend to be hitters. Other players are fast and flexible. They tend to be swingers. And others are in between. They tend to be throwers. So what we need to do is find out what body type do you have and which swing would be more natural for you. The thing you need to understand about each of these swing styles is they each have their own basic action. Swingers think of turning back and through. Throwers think of shifting back and through. And hitters, well, they just thrust. The thing we want to understand about swingers is they focus on rotational force. They think turn back, turn through. So the basic action for a swinger is just turn, turn. If you're a thrower, you're going to think more about shifting back and shifting through. So it's like throwing a baseball. You have the shift back, shift through, and you throw it out there. Lastly, if you're big and strong and you can't turn or throw as much as you'd like to, well, you just draw the club back and you just thrust into the ball. All right, let's go ahead and play three shots, demonstrating each style now.
I have one last piece of advice for you. The more physically fit you are, you're going to find out swinging is better for you. If you can't swing, then try to throw. At a last resort, become a hitter. Hitting takes a lot of energy out of you, it tires you out, and you find out by the time you get to the 14th hole, you want to know where the 19th hole is. So there you have it. That's hitting, throwing, and swinging. That's it for this week. Thanks for joining us at Golf Quest Hawaii. We'd also like to thank our friends here at the beautiful Kolau Golf Course for sharing their facility with us. Please join us next week when we'll show you how to develop a better short game. We'll also take you to the beautiful Isle of Maui and the Wailea Resort. Take care, stay positive, and keep searching for new horizons.